a press conference for the last 16 of the first ex last 16 of UEFA Champions League 2021-2022. We have a count Shalyanoglu and coach Mr. Simone Inzaghi. Please, one question each for both of them, and we'll start with Gazzetta dello Sport. Good morning, good afternoon. Both of you, a question for the coach and a question for Cianianoglu. Coach, among, we always say that British uh, Grazie come dire, annullabile in un doppio confronto. E poi invece a Cialanoglu volevo chiedere, eh, avete fatto due ottime partite nel girone con, con il Real Madrid, sia, sia a San Siro che, che a Madrid. Ecco, eh, in nessuna delle due però siete riusciti a portare il risultato a casa. Qual è l'errore da, da non ripetere in vista insomma, della doppia sfida con il Liverpool? Grazie. Ma io per quanto riguarda insomma, le squadre inglesi penso che che siano squadre molto molto forti insomma hanno vinto tutte as far as the english teams are concerned they won their groups apart from chelsea that lost the leadership in the last match day and i think that liverpool is one of the greatest clubs in europe but as i said before i'm happy i'm happy that my club and the fans and my players deserve to play these kind of games against these very experienced uh, teams uh, we've we we've haven't been we haven't been playing in last 16 for a long time but it will be hard but we'll try to do our best i agree i agree with you. We played very well against the Real Madrid, uh, both at home and away, and we proved that what we can do. But as I said before, we didn't, we created a lot of chances, but we didn't score as much. So, but tomorrow, in my opinion, it will be the same. We always create goal scoring opportunities, but then uh, but then we need to score them. And if we can finalize our uh, goal scoring chances, uh, we need uh, to do it. And we need to prove our worth uh, all 90 minutes because it will be a very tough game. Corriere dello Sport. Um, uh, a question for the manager and a question to Mr. Cialinoglu. So uh, the manager, Mr. Inzaghi, yesterday you talk, I talked with uh, Rafa Benitez and he sees this match between Inter Milan and Liverpool as a, very, as a much more balanced game as many, uh, rather than many would think because both teams are very, play very fancy football. They create a lot of goal scoring opportunities. They have a lot of possession on the ball and Liverpool probably has has more intensity than Inter Milan while Inter Milan have, plays more on tactics. So, Mr. Inzaghi, do you think that this is true or do you think that uh, Liverpool are the favourites? So, to Cialianoglu, to ask you whether you have a secret for your uh, season so far because uh, in goals and assists, right now, since you've come to Italy, this is your best season in Italy. Then we had you still have to play the second half of the season. But so far, you didn't play as as well in AC Milan. But now, since you moved to Inter Milan, you are playing far better. Is is it due to the coach? Well, talking about what happens on paper, I believe that Liverpool are the fa are the favourites. But I think that matches have to be played. So, you know, 
we know what I'm going to ask the team and, you know, my lads, is that we will need to go on the pitch, we need to play, to impose our style. I would like my players to play with a free mind, to, you know, play as play our game and we know that determination will make a difference in this kind of match and my lads have shown it have proved it since the very beginning of the season they are very determined to win so my secret is well i think that my heart and my mentality are my secret because i came to a club which has a winning mentality, they've already won the league, so I came here to prove that I share this mentality, and this thanks to, them, thanks to them, they helped me a lot. And then the manager, well, I played another position. I'm playing in another position that I like very much, so I, ha I am more on the ball with uh, Mr. Inzaghi, and then Everything is up to me, my qualities and um, and the work with my teammates. Corriere della Sera. Good morning, good morning, everybody. Good afternoon, everybody. So I would like to ask, hello, Mr. Inzaghi. Let's st to start with a figure. Since 2018, Inter Milan in the 12 major matches in Europe lost nine of them. So what makes you confident about this upcoming match with Liverpool? Do you believe that the team is a more has a more European dimension? And Chenenoglu, I'd like to ask you, you found a lot of continuity this year. This was a sort of shortcoming because nobody questioned your technical abilities. But what changed? You said that you, you came to a big club with that already won. So what changed personally for you, if anything has changed in your way to play football? Well, I believe that as far as confidence is concerned, and the signs that the team is giving me. So on Saturday, we played a great game against uh, a very strong Napoli, a very organized team. And in the first half, we, we played a normal uh, game, but then we, we had a penalty on, against on the fifth minute, but we remained united. We played an adequate game. And then in the second half, we came back to the pitch with a great spirit, with a great determination of not losing the match, but winning it. And probably in the second half is what makes me confident. So confident ahead of tomorrow's game, knowing that we are meeting a great team and we respect them, but because we are not starting as beaten, as beaten. Well, what changed for me is the way the manager plays, the tactics, and also, I, I and I also improved technically in this group, and and also thanks to the manager and the staff and the coaching staff because they are helping me a lot. I've been working all days to improve myself as a player and I feel that their importance, the importance of the coaching staff and I'm doing what I'm supposed to do on the pitch. Tutto sport. Can you hear me? Good morning. Good afternoon. Yes. Hello, uh, Simone and Achan. I would like to be more practical in my question. So I would like to ask Simone, since, you know, there is great indecision between Lautaro and Sanchez. You probably uh, have already chosen, but why is Lautaro supposed to play and why Sanchez is supposed to play? And for Akan Chalianoglu, more than anyone in uh, Inter, you know your former Milan, AC Milan teammates. Do you think that they will be supporting you tomorrow because they want you to go as far as possible in Champions League in order to, you know, 
in order to have more free ride in the league or since there is a rivalry that will be against you well according to the well as far as the strikers are concerned well they all have the equal possibility to play today we'll have a practice session tomorrow we'll have another training session session we've played a lot of games uh, of intense games so we will need to assess the physical condition of the three attackers two will two of them will play another will join um, the match afterwards so uh, after today or, or tomorrow's training session i will take my decision but i'm lucky enough to you know to have very mature players who accept my choices and my decisions and then when i have the possibility i always try to you know to rotate them because playing once in three days is very hard to recover physical uh, physical and mental energies well i have many friends at ac milan but i don't think that they will be supporting us tomorrow but you know i'm not interested because i'm just thinking about my job so we are just thinking about ourselves so what we are going tomorrow and then we will analyze with the manager and we will prepare for you know for next match la repubblica good afternoon mr inzaghi and akan celanoglu so I would like to ask you, in the league, in Inter, in Inter Milan 2022, so how is, you know, how does it disturb you the fact that you are for one game less against Bologna? And for Celinoglu, when you signed for Inter Milan, have you expected to, did you expect to, you know, to be running for Champions League, Italian Cup and the Serie A at this time in the year? Well, talking about, uh, you know, the match against Bologna, so this happened, so we need to accept that as I accepted it in the previous years, because, you know, this is something that always happened to me with Lazio. I had a match against Udinese that we dragged very long for months. Last year, there was a match against Turin, which we dragged along for a very long time. And this year we have the... Uh, the postponed match against Bologna, but we will think about it when, it when the time comes. It will be a very important match for us, but right now we have other priorities, and our priority now is at Liverpool FC. Well, in six months, I've already won a trophy, and I'm very happy about it. I was missing uh, that trophy, the Italian Super Cup then. I lost the Italian Cup in the final and I want to win it. But in Champions League, the Champions League is a dream. So let's see what happens tomorrow. We will need to be focused and, you know, we need to prove our worth tomorrow. So if we play uh, like we can do tomorrow, I think that we will do something, we'll achieve something great, in my opinion. La Stampa. Good afternoon to the both of you, and the same question for the both of you. How much is are you willing to play this important game? Since also for Inter, Inter Milan hasn't been qualifying for 11 years to the quarter to the Champions League quarterfinals, so there is this willingness to take this step. And you said it over and over from the very first press conference. So would you like to write again the history of this club after 11 years? Well, obviously, I've already talked about it with the club and with the lads. The first step was to get the last 16 after 10, 11 years. Now, so without getting to the last 16, we couldn't get to the quarterfinals. So now we are facing a top club like Liverpool FC with very strong individual players. But as I said, play uh, all games start start nil nil so we will play with our qualities with our motivation knowing that in some matches you cannot uh, you know uh, avoid caring about the smallest detail because it can be decisive 
Well, I can only agree with what the manager has just said. I lost in last 16 with Atletico Madrid uh, on a penalty, so tomorrow I hope to win. And uh, we want to get through, we got to get through in this tournament because for us, the players, these matches are very important. Final questions, uh, Sport Italia. So, good morning, manager. I would like to ask you, did you expect getting to Inter Liverpool, losing these points against Napoli and AC Milan and, you know, So you have you had a very tough calendar, so you couldn't be players brilliant. So I can tomorrow you have a very dynamic uh, midfield in front of you. So normally, is Inter Milan midfield imposing the game? So how do you think you will manage uh, the strong Liverpool FC um, FC Liverpool midfield? Well, talking about Liverpool FC, we knew, getting to Liverpool, we knew that we were uh, you know uh, facing. AC Milan, Napoli, and then uh, FC, Liverpool FC. So talking about the performances, I'm actually satisfied because for 70 minutes we played a great derby, even better than Napoli. While in Napoli, we, we played a great second half in which we did very well. No, it's just normal when you say one point out of six, I'm saying no, I'm not satisfied at all about what we collected at the end of the matches. But as far as we played, I believe that we played two great matches against two great teams, which with us and together with us and Juventus, given their trend, and the transfer market the, and the general transfer market of the Juvent Juventus, this will be a very open league that will be decided at the very last day, game day. Yes, they, they're very dynamic, we know that. They are very strong in the midfield. But tomorrow, we are going on the pitch with personality. I'm ready. I was expecting a game like this because Playing against a great uh, team, if you see it, and if you, I mean, you can assess your personality and now you're doing on the pitch. So I'm ready and I want to assess and feel how uh, good are them. France Press? Can you hear me? So I would like to ask Mr. Inzaghi to ask you, what have you learned from the two games that AC Milan played against, played against Liverpool in the group stage, and how do you think you're going to face uh, this team? Well, I believe that together with the staff, yes, we saw those matches. We mostly saw the most recent Liverpool games. Liverpool are are a team with great players in every position of the field. The field's a great manager, a great squad, a very intense style of play. So we need to be good in any moments. When we are on the ball and when we are off the ball, when we are on the ball, if we uh, miss some uh, pass, they can counter-attack us in any moment. And when they have on the ball, even in front, in center ball, they have Van Dijk and Alisson, who are who are great long uh, throwers, the two, uh, the two uh, lateral, uh, the two fullbacks have uh, very great feet, so they can deal very many problems in every part of the pitch. Thank you very much, everybody. Good afternoon, and see you tomorrow. Thank you.